proposed laser ablation refers to the removal of atoms from a solid material through the irradiation of high-energy pulsed laser light. Here, we focus on a single pulsed femtosecond laser. Previous studies have mainly investigated cases where the laser pulse is at a normal angle of incidence with the target, but practical applications often involve oblique configurations. Moreover, current research on surface modification generally focuses on the analysis on bulk materials. Theoretical exploration of the laser ablation phenomena with the laser incidence as the main parameter of investigation on bilayer metal thin films has yet to be realized. The following are our main objectives. To establish a model that can numerically describe femtosecond pulse laser ablation of monolayer and bilayer thin metal films at various laser angles of incidence. To investigate the effect of laser angle of incidence and polarization on the target temperatures and ablation depth. And to compare the thermodynamic changes between monolayers and bilayer thin metal films. The two temperature model is employed to numerically simulate the FSPLA process, capturing the thermalization dynamics of the material through changes in the electron and lattice temperatures. The laser source term is modified to account for the dynamic angle of incidence and type of linear polarization. Through our simulations using gold and gold copper thin films, we found that an increase in the laser angle of incidence corresponded to a decrease in the surface temperatures of the irradiated thin films. Depolarized beams were observed to produce higher temperatures and consequently deeper craters compared to S-polarized beams for all angles of incidence. Furthermore, the addition of a copper substrate layer to gold resulted in a reduction in the surface temperature. In the operation of high-power lasers, the findings of this study have potential applications in the optimization of film damage threshold. Hello, my name is Jesse Grufal and that is the overview of my undergraduate thesis. Thank you for listening.